Servus guys and welcome to another short Minecraft tutorial. This is Industrial Craft 2 Experimental and I'm showing you today how to build up a basic nuclear reactor to have some cheap nuclear energy, atomic energy. And yeah, we got some nuclear uh, reactor there with this yeah, small setting that I'm explaining later. Um, something that I suggest every time when you're playing with nuclear energy just build reinforced stone around it because if this is blowing up and it's likely to, bl uh, to blow up um, there will be a huge explosion and you don't want to have your city destroyed or whatever you are building so build enough reinforced stone around your nuclear uh, chamber or uh, nuclear uh, reactor that's very important Yes, um, within the nuclear reactor we have here a very basic setting which can be enhanced in, in future but this is very a very basic tutorial. In the nuclear reactor um, you find the heat vents, I'm using advanced heat vents which aren't that cheap but working very well and uh, you get some, well you can enhance the nuclear reactor uh, with some more chambers and um, yeah you can use some more advanced heat and you need some few rods for the beginning I start with normal uranium and you can have more uranium in the nuclear reactor but uh, then you need more heat vents yeah first of all when you're farming you uh, get just the, ur uh, the uranium ore which um, can be produced uh, in the meserator uh, like any other ores and what you get is ah, let's wait crushed uranium ore this is what you get uh, just build a pipe to the terminal centrifuge centrifuge don't know how to pronounce it in English and this one is producing um, yeah, it's reproducing uh, the uranium and um, three parts are getting out of it. You get a tiny pill of uranium-235, you get uranium-238 and some useless stone dust. And these three um, I'm just um, pumping out of the uh, uh, fuge and um, getting it into a chest. And because this is working very fast uh, and now you need the tiny pill of uranium and uranium 238 and you have to craft something but now it's a problem because every time you get in touch with uranium you're getting poisoned and you die and you need some special suit this is called a hazmat suit which um, is the scuba helmet the rubber boots the hazmat leggings and the hazmat suit you really need to take this on to um, yeah don't die while handling uh, uranium in any kind so at this stage you need you really need to have this um, this suit on so otherwise you die okay now we are, have to craft our fuel so we put our three uh, tiny builds uh, into the um, chest yeah i'm just pumping it out there that's what i'm explaining in german there and you need your uranium 238 the lower and higher parts and that's what you get out of there it's called enriched uranium nuclear fuel that's what uh, your you need for your uh, for the nuclear reactor yeah because we need to produce this full fuel rod otherwise it's not working and we need our canning machine uh, which is yeah producing or putting the the um, enriched uranium fuel into cans and we also need to produce these cans which is done in the metal former uh, okay here's everything produced already so you need um, some iron uh, plates let me search um, iron plates iron plates No, iron plates. Uh, no, dense. No, this one. Iron plate. 
just take them and just put it into the in the metal former and what comes out is already the fuel rod as an empty case so just take it and get it into the canning machine into the sl second slot and also uh, al already getting uh, the fuel rod produced which is ready to use in your nuclear chamber or nuclear reactor so there's the small setting that I have at the moment if you put the smooth uh, the fuel rod in there you see that uh, if you turn it on already okay this is always a good thing you see that the electricity is already floating in and you see at the moment we have an output of 180 EU per tick and you can enhance this if you put another one you got 315 and 450 or whatever um, into this uh, EU per tick but the problem is the heat is getting up and if the heat is uh, too high then a, nu a nuclear reaction is taking place and this thing is going to explode so um, keep in mind that uh, you have to keep it cool so take a, no take a lot of uh, heat vents in there if you want to have more fuel rods in there if you want to have more output you really need more um, active vents um, I'm showing you another setup that is possible which I tested already so we just put all advanced heats heat vents at the side and at the oh one one is missing um da, 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 da. yeah last one just put in the last spot and fill the fuel rods in there so we got 450 EU per tick which is working very fine. I left it working for at least an hour now and uh, it did not explode. So the, this should be working fine. The um, By the way, the nuclear reactor is just stopping to work if the fuel is out. Um, so you have to uh, keep in mind that this one is um, yeah, getting empty sometimes. So you have to, to refill it uh, and yeah, keep it on. And yeah, that's basically the, the short and basic version of the nuclear reactor. And yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully you won't uh, destroy your whole city. Yeah, just build it somewhere else. Yeah, take um, the uh, glass fiber cable to, to connect it uh, so um, you don't lead, uh, you don't lose so much energy and really build it somewhere else. 50 blocks away from your city use reinforced stones at least five rows in every direction and uh, you should be you should be fine yeah then thanks for watching um and have a nice day have a nice week and see you next time servus guys